Uh, this is such a wonderful film. Uh, you, uh, you guys play, uh, you play someone who's about to go to Yale and, uh, and, and feels like they made me missed out on high school. Set it up for us a little bit. Yeah, so Booksmart is about two characters, Molly, who I play, and Amy, who the incredible Caitlin Deaver plays. And they are inseparable best friends who have basically decided high school is about each other and academics. And on the last day of school, my character learns that the kids that she thought were just being like frivolous and going out actually got into very good schools as well, and maybe that they should have some fun. And so they go on this incredible, adventurous night out um, to prove that they're smart and fun. Were you, uh, were you someone who, it was uh, book smart and being smart was important to you? Yes, so from a very young age, I was like obsessed with being smart. And when I was three, I'm the youngest, so I really wanted to like do everything that everyone else could do. So I wanted to prove that I could read and write at like an advanced level. Mind you, I was three, like I couldn't really do anything. Uh, I could maybe point to a B or an A. Um, but I begged my brother to write down Willie. Your brother Jonah Hill. My brother yes. Jonah Hill. <laughs> yeah. I begged, I begged him, woo! <laughs> I begged him to write down Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on a piece of paper for me because that sounded very astute to me. Um, I was like, that is a big word and yes. a lot of them in a row. Yeah. So I begged him, and he was like 13 at the time, so he was like, oh, fine. <laughs> so he writes it down, and I go into my mom and dad's room, and I'm like, mom, look what I wrote. And she was like, Jonah! And I was like, no, I wrote it. I wrote it. She's like, you did not write this. And I run up to Joan. I'm like, what did you write? He was like, I wrote F you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my attempt at being book smart. Yeah, did not. My first attempt at being book smart did not work out. It is a nice, this film is a nice uh, companion film uh, uh, to, to Superbad. Yeah. I, I mean, it is these kind of like two uh, characters who really love each other. Yes. In a way that I feel like, uh, you know, I, I felt like I hadn't seen it uh, before that, and I certainly hadn't seen it from this perspective. Yeah. Uh, and it must just be so nice to, to, to do something, uh, you know, very, very different, but also has that same quality of heart. Yeah, I think if uh, Booksmart owes to Superbad, I think we Oh, this this like true celebration of friendship, as you said. Like yeah. these girls are in love with each other, and I think Booksmart is it's so 2019. It's rooted in now. It feels so fresh, and it's female, and it's yeah. just like these girls are so smart, and they're unapologetic about how smart they are. And it's not an assimilation story. It's a story of girls just owning their intellect and their love for each other and their confidence. It's great. It's nice how few of the um, there, there's uh, there's no uh, none of those cliche moves that you come become accustomed to yes. in those. Uh, high school movies. Uh, I, I heard that, um, you know, obviously you're playing friends and, and you did not know Caitlin before this, I'm yeah. assuming, but yeah. you, you guys lived together uh, during the shoot. You, you kind of went all in on the idea of being old friends. Exactly, we went all in. Basically, we knew Molly and Amy have been inseparable for over 10 years. So we were like, we have to make up for lost time. We just met. <laughs> um, and so we thought there's no better way to do that than living together. Olivia brought it up the first time we met, like, very casually. She's like, maybe you could like, live together. And Caitlin and I were like, I'm down if you're down. <laughs> and this was like before the appetizers had even arrived. It was like 10 <laughs> minutes into knowing each other. We were like fully roomies. But it was incredible. We just like ate snacks and like got ready and brushed our teeth together and ran lines. And it was it was honestly heaven. I can't imagine doing the movie without that. And you uh, you mentioned Olivia Wilde. Uh, this is her first uh, uh, directing gig. Yeah. And uh, she just does an amazing job. And do you remember the first time you met her? Yeah, so I met her once briefly before this, but the first time we like sat down together was at um, this cafe in Times Square because she was doing 1984 and I was doing Hello Dolly at, the, at that time. And I was just so deeply inspired by just sitting next to her. But we had very different approaches to our like pre-show rituals. So I was doing Hello Dolly and she was doing 1984 and it was like right before our show, it was like an hour. And I was sitting there like a grandma with my little like hot water and honey and she had like six shots of espresso. <laughs> just yes. like one after the other, just like pitching me the movie in the best way. And I was just enthralled. She's radiant, she's brilliant. And she led our film with such Humanity and confidence, and it was just—it was wonderful. You—you uh, you mentioned Hello Dolly, and I'm so—I'm uh, so delighted that I got to see you on stage in that show. And yes. I know we—we we sort of uh, might have established that Jonah was not the best older brother, but he is. He is, and I know—I uh, know how much it's been you like guys. Been like 20 years since that. Yeah, story. exactly. <laughs> well, he more than made up for it because he got a Hello Beanie tattoo oh, to I... honor your uh, Broadway debut, it's which insane. is insane. He—he said it very like offhand. He was like, maybe I'll get a Hello Beanie tattoo. I was like, ha-ha. <laughs> and then he was like, where should I get it? I was like, 
maybe like here, expecting it to be this big. It's like that. I mean, you can see. <laughs> yeah, no, and they had to shave his arm, which is my favorite part. <laughs> uh, I also, um, uh, I, I love talking to you about your mom, uh, your mom, Sharon. Yes, the uh, queen. Last time you were here, it was about how your, uh, your vet, your, your veterinarian fired her. Because she got fully she, Yeah, she was difficult yeah. to deal with. <laughs> um, what is, uh, I, I want to show, uh, yeah, your beautiful mom here. Look there at she her. Is. She's, She's so gorgeous. Uh, what's new with Sharon? How's she doing? We found a new vet. Okay, you found we a new found vet. We found a more okay. accepting vet um, right. of her, uh, what would you call it? Her, her... Picadillos? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she, she she found a new vet, but she's incredible. She has this incredible charity called Your Mom Cares. Great. That she is just working so hard on. They're bringing awareness to children's mental health issues. I'm so proud of her. And she's the most incredible inspiration. And, and you know, there's some great uh, uh, guest stars, uh, I should say, you know, co-stars in the film. Uh, uh, Will Forte, Jason Sudeikis. Some people uh, Mike you know. O'Brien, some people I know. And Lisa Kudrow. And, and is it true that Lisa Kudrow was, uh, of all the people uh, she could recognize from her family, she saw your mom and was into that? Yeah, so we're at the premiere last week. And she walks by me, she walks by Jonah, and she turns around to my mom, she goes, oh my God, you're on a commercial. And my mom, <laughs> I, I never have seen her, she's never rattled, <laughs> but my mom is in fact on a Facebook portal commercial. <laughs> and Lisa knew, baby, Lisa knew. Uh, good for you, Sharon. <laughs> you go, Shay. You go. Hey, thanks for being here. So Congrats on the film. That's Beanie Belton, everybody.